Ben Downs, who Hi. is a respiratory, registered respiratory therapist with us. And he's going to talk with us a little bit about something that we are celebrating on our campuses this week, uh, and that is Respiratory Care Yes, week. very uh, happy about so that. So Ben serves as a staff development and clinical education coordinator yes. with our respiratory care team. Uh, and so I, I think that this is one of those areas that if families aren't really made aware that their child is receiving the services, they may not know as much about. Tell me a little bit about what it is that respiratory care does that really complements and sure. increases the level of care that's available for children in Arkansas children. Absolutely. That, that's really a, a great question. I, you know, I really like to think about respiratory therapists working as cardiopulmonary kind of specialists. That's really where you know our specialty training is. So respiratory therapists really work all over the hospital. We work in the intensive care units, uh, we, work in, uh, we work in research, we work in clinics, we work on transport. Every time the helicopter flies, there's a, a respiratory therapist on board. But we do a variety of things, and the ICUs, of course, are, are major, uh, and especially in the emergency department as well, I don't want to forget them, is to manage the airway and to make sure that that airway is uh, secure. Uh, we're working to make sure that the uh, that the lungs uh, are is just as healthy as they can be uh, while that patient is uh, in the middle of their crisis. We manage uh, a variety of mechanical ventilators uh, to make sure that uh, you know that their oxygen and you know those those levels are are where they're supposed to be so that we can help get them through uh, the worst of it. And I think really a big part of what we do as respiratory therapists is we educate okay. because it's the specialty. Uh, education that, that, that we get when we're in school, particularly uh, asthma is such a big thing, and I know we'll probably talk about that at some point. Right, that's on my list for sure. Asthma um, education is a big part of what respiratory therapists can do, and I think it's a, a big part of making any medical institution successful. Tell me a little bit about some of the patient groups that you see. Um, what kind of conditions do they have that people might be familiar with in terms of how you're working with the airway? Oh, sure. Now, and, and you know, and Arkansas Children's is such a unique gem for the state of Arkansas. We see, we see a full spectrum of patients, starting at uh, micro preemies mm -hmm. uh, that come in with a variety of needle natal uh, uh, diseases. We work with patients, uh, pediatric patients that have cystic fibrosis. Uh, we see those uh, the, the the kiddos that come in with that really bad bout of bronchiolitis. You know, most most every child by the time they're two yep. has has some kind of a bout with with bronchiolitis and our, our moms and dads out there, uh, I'm sure are very, very familiar, familiar with that. Um, but we see a lot of problems with like uh, the flu. Uh, we see, unfortunately, we see traumas. Uh, but we, we, see, uh, we see just the full spectrum of patients here. Okay, and one thing that is really unique about our department is that we're one of uh, only two pediatric hospitals in the nation that have apex recognition uh, for the American Association of Respiratory Care. Okay. And that's, that's happened in the last year, right? Yes. And that's a, that's a very, big deal for your team. Yeah, we actually got that in, uh, I think it was 2018. So, okay. Um, and I'm very proud of that. Um, apex um, is awarded by the American Association for Respiratory Care. Now, you know, for uh, that is the only real national organization that devotes itself to promoting respiratory care uh, and not only just the profession, but also evidence-based medicine. And so what APEX really was designed to do was to kind of uh, highlight the, the significant contribution of the respiratory therapist. And I think even more specifically, what that APEX recognition does is that it highlights respiratory care departments across the country who are uh, not just saying it, but proving that they're demonstrating, they're demonstrating that they have high quality uh, patient safety, pa uh, quality outcomes, and that they align themselves with evidence-based medicine. So we're, we are thrilled to have that. I think we share that uh, with uh, Children's Hospital of Orange County in uh, Orange, California, but uh, there's only 12, 12 hospitals across the United across States, the total, states. Adult and, we, uh, and Arkansas Children's is uh, only the second children's hospital to receive that. So we're very proud of It's a great of honor. Absolutely. We're proud for you guys. Yes, thank you. I know that also indicates that you guys have a lot of team members who are working on research, and you, t you spoke about evidence base there a second. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how the, the uh, volume of research and what kind of interest you guys have uh, in research. Okay, well, research is a, a big part of what we do. Uh, we actually, uh, and I think that, that, that we're unique in that we have, um, I'm, I'm just going to throw her name out there, I hope she doesn't mind, Denise Willis is our respiratory research She's coordinator. She's great, yep. Uh, respiratory therapist, highly qualified, but um, her job is not just to do the research in our, in our department, but her job is to cultivate research with staff. Um, so we are very involved in the research last year. Um, I, I'm just going to tell you what I like, because 
you know, I try to stay involved in research myself. And uh, so I, I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am when we go marching into a national conference uh, with, you know, like a group of respiratory therapists who are there to present their, uh, their research. And uh, I think last year we had 10 abstracts. Uh, we've already got a, uh, we have 10 that are approved for this year and our, uh, we have a, a conference coming up so we have 10 more research projects. But we have respiratory therapists who are um, book authors, uh, who write manuscripts, uh, podium presentations at national conversations, uh, or national conferences, that is. Um, so, and I like it because, it, you know, I've been at those, uh, at the American Association for Respiratory Care, and, you know, I'd step onto an elevator and they see that, you know, I'm from Arkansas Children's, I say, wow, you guys have a lot of research that you're showing this year, and it just, uh, I really think we're starting to get a good reputation there. It's, well, they, I know, they know we're coming in. That it's really led to improvements in care for children, yes. uh, and asthma is definitely an area that's, that's, you mentioned, really important to you guys. Tell me a little bit about some of the programs that you have going uh, sure. with asthma specifically. Okay, well, asthma is a place, I think, where respiratory therapists are, um, really, truly do provide a unique service. Um, and I think that, 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 you know, what we're able to do really aligns with, you know, our at Arkansas Children's of having our mission of, you know, making children better today and healthier tomorrow. But, uh, for example, we have respiratory staff that are involved uh, currently. Uh, they're working as part of a grant from um, uh, Blue and You. Blue it's a $150,000 right. grant. And uh, these respiratory therapists are going around the state and they're meeting with uh, school nurses and they're uh, teaching them, about, they're giving them tools and resources and showing them how to manage asthma in those children uh, that are coming to see so them. So we're really branching outside of, yes. of what's happening here on the hospital campus. And we're working to reach all four corners of the state. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're able to, you know, there's new legislation now that uh, was, was passed that uh, makes it possible for schools to hold on to extra canisters of albuterol for emergent situations. And, and so our respiratory therapists that are involved in that program through that grant are, are able to help those nurses that are part of this alliance that we're, that we're working with. Well, wonderful. Thank you for taking time to Absolutely. join us today and talk a little bit about respiratory It's my care pleasure. Services. Thank you. And thank you to all of our respiratory therapists uh, who may be out there watching today. Uh, we're grateful for the work that you do on behalf of our patients. Uh, and you guys can look forward to tuning in next time to Facebook Live with Arkansas Children's.